Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, we're going to do a workout on the tunnel today. This is not a review of the product. This is literally just us kind of working out together and giving you a chance to actually look at the product. And what we'll do is we'll turn this on. You just press it. So we got this, turn on my profile. Okay, so I'm actually starting this new program, I think. It's this one, beginner breakthrough workout one of six, 33 minutes full beginner. So I already signed up for this. I haven't done this workout before. But when we do this, we actually want to adjust the volume first because we don't want to get dinged on the music. So I'm going to adjust the music, pull that down. Everything else should be working. We have the coach, the sound effects. Let's do it. What up? I'm Coach Jared. Welcome to your newest strength training program, Beginner Breakthrough. I plan to show you how strength training is done. Take you for a walk around the new block. Meet the neighbors, smart handle, rope, and mat and then help you build confidence in your newest strength training journey. Stick with me, and we got this in the back. Welcome to the hood. We're gonna begin by getting ourselves into state. So just a few minutes, not warm up, but dynamic preparation. Follow me as we get jogging into place. <sighs> Exciting day today, day one. And this is all about having breakthrough. So what we'll do today and during this entire program is we'll talk breakthrough. We'll talk about what does that mean? How do we have breakthrough and how do we use it as stepping stones towards improving, building, and gaining momentum all for this incredible never-ending journey called fitness. So stick with me. All right, let's get into some jumping jacks. I want you to breathe here with me a lot. So I have to hold my pants up because uh, I have my phone in there. And remember something, as we're going into our program, everybody, including myself, a movement and a fitness professional, I had a starting point too. So if you find yourself not feeling comfortable, not feeling strong, learning new concepts, that's where we want to have breakthrough and enjoy that journey. Three, two, and one. Shake that out for me. All right, so exercise number three is one of my faves. It's the inchworm. So I'm off the mat. Wide stance here to get myself started. Join me as I take a big breath in. Bend at the hips and exhale, pouring the head, shoulders, and torso down, down towards the earth. And then we're going to take hands to mat and walk into high plank. Keep that wide stance of your feet, stack shoulders over wrists, and then press yourself into downward facing dog. So one of the keys for me here is to push the heels all the way down to the floor, and then take my time standing up, and we'll do it again. A few more, fold in, exhale down. High plank. <laughs> Now, one of the things that I've come to realize is that no one's going to be a more harsh critic than, about your work than you are to yourself. We'll go one more time. So instead of constantly criticizing and beating yourself up when movements don't feel great, I want you to try to have fun. I want you to try to enjoy the process and understand that when you get uncomfortable, that is incredible opportunity for breakthrough. So let's get started. We're going to set ourselves up. And the first thing is we got to make sure this incredible trainer is in its proper position because we're going to set it and forget it. So the arms are going to come out to first position each. All right. Bring them all the way down. Okay. I think we're already set. Securely locked, and then we'll take the bench. We're set. What's up, bench? Hope you're well today. I'm going to be using you a bunch. And we'll set up bench as we get ourselves ready for our first exercise, which is the bench press. Now, before we jump in, we're starting off with a little bit of a warm-up set, something I like to call even a preset. And this means that we're gonna get ourselves an opportunity to move through proper range, learn some form, and this is like kind of a bonus set because we're gonna do three more after this. Oh yeah, we're building strength. So I want you to make sure that your head and your shoulders have plenty of support as you come back. Spread your feet, and that's gonna give you a little bit of extra leverage. All right, 
Now, the key here is making sure that the chest does not collapse. So I'm gonna puff the heart up towards the ceiling. I feel a little arch in my back. And we've got eight repetitions as we turn that resistance on now. And let's begin. So we'll rotate the elbows inward, lower the handles down, and almost punch the ceiling with our knuckles. And one of the keys for me is not moving around the resistance, but I want you to push through it each time. That's it. So I pressed the button and it loaded up the weight. That was nice. Very easy. And as I'm doing this, I can see the data, the metrics coming in. So I can see if I'm going above my normal strength and weight. That felt pretty good, very easy. And resistance off. All right, nice and easy. We place those handles down. Come on up and we get ready for the seated row. So this one means we got to push the bench all the way in up against the wall so it's flush and then grab a seat with me where you can grab one handle at a time and then take your time kind of scooting yourself back in into position. I like my heels right at the bench, hips are back, chest is tall here, okay? So another exercise where we want to stay up and lifted, that way when you extend, You'll squeeze the shoulder blades back and drive the elbows towards the wall behind you. So let's begin by turning resistance on now. We'll start in two, one, go. All right. I've done these before, so. Now you can see me doing the exercise and I'm actually hinging forward slightly, leaning backward slightly. I don't mind a little bit of this hinge but it has to be controlled and we don't over him. So I don't rest the belly onto the thighs. And rest. Resistance. So far, this is a little bit on the too easy side. All right, so exercise three, one of my favorites. This one is the goblet squat. Grabbing one handle and then opening up the toes slightly to a nice open angle. The reason why we open the toes is it's a friendly position for the knee. The knee likes to push out slightly. So tuck the elbows under, turn your resistance on, brace your core, let's go. We sink in, sit back into your chair, and then push the earth down as you stand up. I hate these the most because they hurt my knees. Remember athlete, I want you to sink your breath with your movement. So each time you press up, that's when there should be an exhale. And resistance turns off. All right. So that was your warm-up round. And now we're going to get ready to jump in and make a little more noise. So we're going to pull that bench out. And I always like to have the bench right where those little pulleys are, where the tonal arms begin. As we get set for our official set number one, remember, push through, lift your chest, and let's go to work. So we're starting it all over again. Actually, that was a good tip. I didn't know that all you were right, supposed to line it up. Fred, that was good. Starting position. We turn that resistance on. Eight reps, here we come. Let's go, down. It's a little bit heavier, I think. And that's my goal here. I'm thinking about breakthrough opportunities. It means that we feel tough moments. Maybe we're not so great at a particular motion. Breakthrough means that we dive into that tough part. Turn resistance off and we give it our all every single time. Bench pushes in, shake them out, stay loose. We're just starting to get warmed up. Grab a seat with me. <clears throat> Seated rows, this is your official set one of this move. Heels can dig in, resistance turns on, chest is up 
and a small hinge forward, let's go. So I like it um, when you don't have to do too much of a changing of the, of the arms. So, this has been programmed well. I feel like the weight has gotten stronger this time. So the first ones were just warm ups. So this is heavier. Yes, and then as we extend, we turn resistance off. Well done. Okay. And we can still these our these handles here. All right, legs. Back into the goblets. Goblet squats. Oh boy. Okay, so 61 pounds. Increase 25 pounds. All right, so preparation's like everything here. Make sure that the feet are in their proper position. All right. Gonna, uh, make the abs feel nice and tight. Turn your resistance on and let's go. All right, this is gonna be harder. Oh yeah, I feel the weight. Now remember, to squat, to improve your squat, to master the squat. Uh, yep, that's heavy. Keep squatting. Stay with it. Keep practicing this move. A couple more. That's the weird one. Resistance turns off. I hate pressing this button right here. It's really tricky when you're in the goblet squat. And my philosophy here, my style is that because where your hands are positioned. Really, really well. I'm not focused on the next move or the next block. It's just one extra. That's nice. My time. PR went up. And we can give a hundred percent of our breathing and our focus and attention, focus on muscle group. Man, sweat happens. We start to pump. It gets really, really good from there. So from the top, we got to go again. Okay. We'll adjust that bench. And we're talking breakthrough. So what I'm going to say is this. This second set is an opportunity to practice mind-muscle connection. Grab those handles. Okay. Puff up the heart. Small arch in the back. Feet are flat and planted. Resistance on. Go! We're moving. So, just going to start in the raised arm position first. And we're going to do it. A few more. Okay, it's starting to get hard for me. Practicing mind muscle, it's easy for me to just say stuff like that, but what does that really mean? <sighs> Don't forget to push your bench in. Mind muscle connection means that when we're in the exercise, first off, we know what muscle we're working. So, this one, your back's gonna be your primary muscle, your biceps are gonna be your secondary, your little helper. Second thing we need to know is. Looks like it's increased right, it by another pound. I need to now start to think about the muscle I'm working. Go ahead and turn that resistance on. Lift your chest. Let's go. Let's go. This is me in the moment. I'm thinking about my back. And as I think about it, what I'm doing is sending little neuro signals from my brain into that part of my body. I'm asking that part of the body to light up like a Christmas tree, to turn on and fire. And then we turn that resistance off. Yay! I like that. And so we nice. this idea, right? Mind New PR. Thinking about the muscle as we go into our goblets. Set two, baby. Here we go. Eight reps. Resistance turns on. Let's go. I'm not a big fan of dropping my body down and trying to catch my body at the bottom. Instead, I'm going to lower down, show control on the way down, and then explode up. 
We got a couple more. And there it is. Eight reps. Whew. Heart rate is at 135, 145. All right, you're doing incredible. Whew. We're moving and grooving. We're going right into your third set. And this is your last opportunity to focus on that mind muscle, right? So again, think about, can I get a little better? Can I root into that muscle a little deeper? Good. Good. I'm setting you up for moments to have breakthrough. Three, resistance on. Two, one, let's go. This being your last time here, athlete, I want you to explode the hands up and really push because we won't come back here again today. Go hard, big push. There we go. Ooh, getting hard. That last one was hard. That last one was tricky. But I got it done. Spotter didn't kick in. You're crushing it so far. Come on in. We're going to keep heart rate up. You don't need a ton of instruction here. We've already been here three times. This is your fourth. Turn on, get set, and go. Each rep, I'm trying to pull a little harder. I'm trying to pull a little stronger, keeping my form. And there it is. Amazing. So stay with me. Let's hop into goblet squat for the last time. All right, come into position. Ah. Ooh, increased by two, two pounds. Oh boy. We'll turn resistance on and your goblet squats. Start now. One of the reasons why I came up with learn, earn, and burn. Each round should have a story. Each round should be a little better and should have more connection. Ah. Opening up opportunity for even more breakthrough. And there it is. I couldn't press the button on that one. I had to just put it down. Right, give me some right here. Give me some. <laughs> okay, so let's set up for block number two. First things first, we got to make a couple changes here. I'm going to stow this right arm. Always expressing gratitude to this incredible trainer. And the other arm we're going to replace and add the rope. Okay. All right, let's do that now. Three moves here. And this is going to get turned out a bit here. All right, exercise number one. Now we're hopping into the incline push-up. We're coming back to a major muscle of your chest. I want you to set this up with me. So we spread the fingers, taking the hands a little wider than shoulder width. Feet are together, and then my hips are at the same height as my rib cage, just below the shoulders. For 20 seconds, we get moving. So in three, two, one, let's go. Down. 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 I want you to see if you can maintain a pace similar to what I just created. Inhale down. Exhale as you push away. And time. Whew. Nice job. Now let's get tough in a hurry. Squeeze. 
squat with row. Major muscles, legs, back, arms. We're gonna put them all to work here. So let's make sure we begin by turning that resistance on and step back. Give yourself some space. Toes are open again. Eight reps starts right now. A couple things going on at the same time. Now the first is the lower body. So I press the button to turn it on. Sit back into your chair. I want you to still ask your legs to do their job. We just put the cherry on top and we do a nice strong pull each time we lift. We turn off the weights by using this. Is your rep count from there. So I'm just gonna move this in a touch, give myself some space to operate here because we got squat jacks coming up and we're gonna pick up that heart rate. So bring your feet together, get low. 20 seconds on the clock, let's go. Out and in. Remember what we do want here. We want the head to stay level and we want the knees to stay back. My phone is bouncing around, I can hold it, sorry. So stay, stay athletic, let's go, let's go. You're close, couple more. Okay. And there's your time. All right, these guys are starting to wake up. Heart rate is at 130 BPM. Incline with that push up. All right, you're doing amazing. You made it this far. We're gonna keep going, I'm sweating too. Yeah, I'm sweating a little. Starting in three. Starting in two. And go. 20 seconds to get back in here. Now, breakthrough happens when we don't feel like doing it or when it's especially tough. Maybe something physically starts to break down. And time. But I want you to remember that there is no athlete that goes through all this work always feeling great and strong. So there's constant opportunity for breakthrough. You just have to recognize those moments. <sighs> Squat row. Go. We got eight big reps here. Oops. So where is your breakthrough moment? Is it down on the squat? Gotta turn it on first. Sometimes do you forget to breathe? Maybe you could be a boss at breathing. Okay. Press this. Sometimes it don't always work, it's not too sensitive. Sometimes it's not so physical, sometimes it's mental, sometimes it's more than that. So having my mind stay tuned in to the breath, that's my game changer. Squat jacks, go. So breakthrough for me right now means I pick up my pace and I move a little bit quicker than I have this entire workout so far. I'm feeling it. Come on, let's go. And time. All right, heart rate is at 132. It's working. 135. You're doing amazing. Incline push up coming up for the last time. All right, I'm going to take an extra two seconds. Now the breakthrough moment. Move room closed. I'm going to jump into a set when I'm feeling super wasted, or am I going to give myself a couple moments? just to quickly recover, and that helped. So here we go. Incline push-up, 20 seconds, starts now. It's sometimes tricky to look at the screen this way. That's probably, I mean, it's not Tonal's fault, but and this is where it starts it's hard full circle. to kind of see the screen to the lessons, look at their form. The tips. Can you continue to implement them when you're feeling tired? Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, I'm so weak. Oh my gosh. Eight reps, squat with rope. 
Okay. Make sure I'm on. All right, last set, you go the same. Right, turn it on. Toes turned out. Go. So yet, still focusing on pushing through my current boundaries. Redefining my threshold for what I think I can do and where I know I want to go. Where do I want to take my fitness? Oops, I did an extra one. And rest. There it is. All right. Yes. All right. Last one. 20 seconds. Let's pick up that intensity and go into our squat jacks in three, two, one. Let's go. Uh, and I'm pushing myself. I'm going to push you too. Stay with me. Let's move quickly. Come on, let's go. It's going to be worth it. It's not supposed to be easy, but we got to push. Let's go. And time. All right, heart rate 139. Just when you thought we were done, I got something special for you. We're going to take the next two minutes and go into the core work. 148. 151. Ooh, it's going up there. You're staying with me and you're coming down to your mat. Crunches. As we go into our crunch, feet are planted, hands are behind your head, and I want your chin up towards the ceiling. In three, two, one, we crunch. Now, athlete, we're here for 30 seconds. I'm going to give you a fantastic tip for achieving breakthrough with your core and your abs. It is called rib to hip. When I crunch, I pull the rib as close to the hips as I possibly can. When I go rib to hip, I'm firing the abdominals over and over and over. A couple more. And time. All right, next move. I feel the burn. Bent hollow rocking. This one's for the core. So what I want you to do is try to maintain the integrity of your starting position. So as you rock, you're not out here. You're not switching positions. You're I've never done these the before, so I'm watching. Arms extended. Let's We're go. learning together. And we rock. Rocking. Okay. Oops. Is that right? If your neck doesn't love this, take one hand behind your head. Oh, I feel my abs. It burns. It's burning. <laughs> my abs are burning. We'll keep going. Oh. And try to kick with your legs a little less. Oh. And lift with your belly oh, a little it, more. It burns. It's burning. Yeah, he's burning. I'm burning. Oh. Okay. Oh my goodness. Right, we gotta do them again. What? If you're sore, you did it right. We're back into crunches. Crunches. Three, two, one, and up we go. And the body's gonna often give us feedback. When we start to burn, we're gonna feel it. When we get uncomfortable, we're gonna feel it. I feel it. Let's keep going. We got a few more to go. But I want you to remember what that discomfort equals. What does that burn mean? Abs. It means growth. I'm gonna get these six pack. Last exercise. Oh, maybe not. Get this. Back into the rock. Two pack. Three, two, one, let's rock. It's <laughs> no pun intended. Ugh. So we know we need to maintain position. We know we need to lift with the belly. I want you to try to stay off of your butt. Damn, this is hard. Oh. Lower back to your upper back. back. Right uh, it's burning for me. <laughs> it's burning for sure. I feel it. Damn. <sighs> so close. Stay with it. Okay. <sighs> <sighs> and time. <sighs> and if you found yourself migrating on your mat a little, no worries, I did too. Let's take the right knee and bend. Extend your left leg. 
I always like to keep a little gap between the bottom of my foot and my inner thigh. I'm gonna reach my left arm up, 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 and then my heart reaches forward, fingertips to toe. If you can't grab your toe, don't worry about it. You can take hand right onto shin. What really matters to me is your heart is reaching forward. Heart rate is at 112 right now. And I'm sweating. And some nice big breaths here. We'll hold for just a couple more seconds. And we'll switch. Okay. That's a good stretch. Same deal here. Reach up and go forward. And the question I have for you is, was there in fact opportunity for breakthrough during the work we just finished? I want you to answer honestly to yourself. And if the answer was yes, let's go one step further. Come on out. Come on back. Once you extend your legs, you're going to pull your right knee in, give a twist, turning onto your side, and then just reach, reach, reach the other arm away. We'll pause here for a couple moments. If there were opportunities for breakthrough, what were they? What did you feel? What was I think I'm doing this right. What did you tell yourself <laughs> during those moments? Oh, it's a weird position. It really matters. And I think we'll switch sides. Okay. Underrated our inner dialogue. Uh, dialect and narrative. Switch. Big turn. Is that right? Oh, I don't feel. Oh, okay. I don't know. I'm probably doing this really wrong. We'll come on out here as well. Oh, and let's come up to standing. Okay. Take your time coming up. Oh, uh, yeah. Because if you can remember the moment. Right arm across, left arm under, pull in for a shoulder stretch. Where are you at opportunity to have a breakthrough? Where there was potential to step up, step in, do more. I want you to hang on to these ideas and continue to implement them in every single workout you have. Switch arms. And this has been one of my keys to not guessing, am I getting better, but to really knowing. And it makes each workout so much more fun. More connected. Shake out, athlete. One more big breath. Well done. What a training session. I don't care if you struggled or even if you felt unsure in certain moments. I'm proud of you for showing up and working hard with me. Now, the more you show up for this program, the stronger you'll feel and the more you'll enjoy the ride. So remember, it's normal to be sore on a day like today. So hydrate up and get a solid night's rest because we're back tomorrow. For now, nice work. I'm Coach Jared, and I'll see you next time. Nice. Thumbs up. This is actually a good workout. Even though it said beginner, um, it pushed me a little bit harder. Um, so I have to hit a couple of personal records. So it, it knew what I was doing. Um, so this one gets a thumbs up, submit, and this shows the data. Um, this past week I've been running, so I haven't had a chance to really catch up with the weightlifting, but we're going to do more of this. We started this new program, so we're going to do this. Um, all right, let's get done. So after you do your workout, you're going to see uh, this screen. This, sh this shows you your history of what you've done uh, in your workout. And so I have uh, 506, and when I first started back at the end of June, um, I was at 469, and you can see uh, up and to the right, uh, it's increased. So my strength overall has increased by 7.9%. So I'm at 506. That's pretty good progression, about three months of work, and we've seen a little increase in strength, and this is great. And tomorrow, or whenever I do my next workout, uh, I just have to play, and it just automatically starts for me. So I don't have to think about anything. All I have to do is just get on the tonal and just start working out. And so when the, everything's said and done, when you're finished with the workout, um, what you'll do is you'll swipe down really simply, and then you can click on sleep, the sleep icon over here. Click sleep, and it's done. And I hope that uh, you enjoyed it. I hope that this is something that we're, it felt like we're working out together. Um, and if you did, you know, please leave a like. I don't do it for the likes, but if you leave a like, I really appreciate it. It helps the channel out. And also lets me know that um, you, know, you want to see more content like this. 
And also, yeah, leave a comment if there's anything, any kind of workouts you want to see me do, um, anything that will help you make a decision on the tonal. And even if you don't buy the tonal, uh, we can work out together like this. All right, everybody, thank you so much, and I'll see you uh, very soon.